Hi there, I'm Jen, the Beautiful Life Sage, and I'm going to share with you what I like to cook for breakfast when I'm just cooking for me. I like to keep my breakfast simple. So for today, I'm going to have a few scrambled eggs and a couple of 100% beef burger patties, 85.50. So I've got my stove warming up and I'm going to crack my eggs. I'm going to leave a little bit of eggshells back in the container, just cooking, and I'll take them out and put them in my um, composter. So here I've got four eggs, and that is about, um, six four, about 24 grams of protein right here. That's about 14 breakfast. Let's give those a quick scramble. These are pasta-raised eggs. Sometimes you use, not all the time, because of the cost. They tend to be healthier, and also much more yellow-orange. I love the color of them. It's pretty cool. The quickest and cleanest way I found to cook my burger patties is to broil them in the oven. Eight minutes on one side, five minutes on the other side. Let's get going. When I'm only cooking them for me, I use this little cookie sheet. So let's get that over here. Don't drop the eggs. Okay, so here we've got my cookie sheet. I'm going to line it with some foil. Got my foil on the pan. Now for the burgers. Slide them in and let the cooking begin. I'll throw the eggs in the pan after I flip my burgers and start cooking them for the last five minutes. This simple breakfast is very cost effective. Eggs are fairly inexpensive and that bag of ground beef patties from Aldi is 12 patties for about $9.99. The other thing that's excellent about this breakfast for me is that it's high in protein, about 60 grams of protein in this meal. I strive to eat around 100 grams of protein a day, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. Eating that much protein a day has helped me maintain my health uh, on the other side of menopause, which is where I am about now. So the burgers have now cooked part of the way through the first eight minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and season them using this Flavor God seasoning on my burgers. So let's give it a little sprinkle over here and a little sprinkle over there. And then I'm gonna flip them Let's give those babies a flip, and another flip, and now I'll season the other side. I keep opening the wrong side. There we go. Okay, they're ready to go back in for another five or six minutes. And while the burgers are cooking for the last half, I'm going to work on my eggs. I got that turned on. I'm gonna heat that up for a moment and then just plop in some of this Kerrygold butter over here. Pardon my one hand. So that is a little too much butter for me for a couple of eggs. So let's cut that in about half. And I do like to scramble my eggs in plenty of butter. It gives it flavor as well as some healthy fat. So let's get that in the pan, melted. And as soon as that melts down a moment, in a moment, I'm going to throw in my eggs. I'm going to just pour the eggs right on top of that butter right there. And I'm going to give it a little salt. I don't put anything else in my eggs. I don't like garlic or pepper. Um, salt is just perfect. So that's going to sit for a bit and start to set and then I'll start swirling it around. I also like to clean as I go so I'm going to go ahead and wash that little yellow dish right now. All my towels are in the laundry. Oh no! Those look like they're setting so I'm going to give them a little swirl. I like my eggs scrambled fluffy. I'll eat them fried. I don't prefer sunny side up. This is my favorite way to eat my eggs. Just a good light scramble. And let's get these eggs plated up.
Burgers are just about ready. Ooh, they smell yummy. Mmm, yum. It's always a good idea to check the temperature, so I'm going to use my handy dandy meat thermometer. Yeah, that'll be ready. All I need is a squirt of ketchup and then I'm good to go. In case you're wondering, the ketchup is for the burgers and not for the eggs. So there you have it. A quick and easy meal for one. Nutritious, easy on the budget, and easy to prepare. I'm the Beautiful Life Sage. See you next time.